Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we are looking at a world, a world that is called Port Argos R&D Site, which is this thing right here. Now the size of this thing and the fact that it's on Mars explains why my packages take so long to be delivered. But yes, this area over here has got massive docking stations with platforms that move, loads and loads of vehicles. And then we come over to the main body of the area where all the deliveries, where all the resources are stacked up. We've got vehicles that move around. You can see the wind turbines there. That, there's the vehicle. I have no idea how they're doing that, but that vehicle goes around on a little loop by itself. And if you get close to it, it stops. Because I wanted to ride on it, but apparently you're not allowed to. Yes, this has got a, a lot going on with it, so this could take a little bit of time to actually go all the way around it. And what is that? I've only just noticed... Oh, that's the moon! Of course, yes, that is, um, not Titan, it's the other thing. Anyway, getting into my character, we spawn in on this room up here where we can see one of the little vehicles going around the side there. In fact, I think that one's a little bit lost. I'm not sure why it's over there, but never mind. We spawn in this room and we're instantly greeted with buttons to play with. So we're off to a great start. So these buttons, we have one, two and three for one, two and three platforms. If we press it, it raises up the platform all the way to the top. And if we were to press them again, we could lower them all to the bottom. What are these for, you're asking? I'm not too sure. Originally, I thought these were landing pads for planes to go on, but it looks more like a land vehicle would go on there and then be pushed all the way up to the top. But anyway, moving on, we have a chair behind it which does exactly the same thing. So if I was to get in there, third person, and then just one, two, and three, we can just control all these little platforms. Let's leave that one down. In this building around here, we have got a lovely clock there and some of the DLC blocks. Going along and around the room, we have a, another button to press. And there's another vehicle. What is he doing? He might crash. I'm not sure what he's up to. Hmm, where is this chap going? I'm very curious. I haven't seen them go up this ramp before. I wonder, if he goes on that, if he goes on that, I'm going to lower the platform. He's got to go straight across. Okay, never mind. He would just go straight. But yes, on the opposite side here, we've got two more buttons, which is for the antenna dish. I had to double check that because I got a bit confused. So if I was to come over to the button panel and, let's say, reverse it. There we go. Then come into the seat. We can see the little radio antenna going around there. Just press it, so hopefully it reverses, then hopping into the seat. Yep, the little antenna right there. I can't really zoom in any further, but you can see it has now started to reverse. Then we have the second button on there, which is to turn it on and off, but we don't need to touch that. Turning around and going through here, we have a sneaky little cubby hole where one of the DLC lockers are for you to store your ammunition and your gear and all that if you wanted to. And then we can come out, come around, all the way past here, past the button panel, and we can walk through here. That's a piece of glass. Silly me, we got to go around to the door. Opening up the door and going through, we can then proceed to jump down there, which is very, very dangerous. Need to put some kind of railing there. Then we can come down these steps, which is much safer. We've got a few doors. So this is the antenna control. Opening it up, we can just walk across to here for a programmable block, which is currently doing nothing and a empty button panel. So if you wanted to set something up there, you could do. But let's just turn around and then move all the way back down. We come past these lovely little vents there so you can see outside. There is a window on the opposite side, so this is all perfectly fine and got oxygen and all that. We can then just keep going around all the way down to the site administration. Opening up this door and taking a left, we can go to the facilities manager's office where he has a bunch of seats there and his little office where you can sit there and talk to the people sitting on the couch. We can also view outside the window there and we can view outside this window into like the meeting room down there. Let's go across to here to the human resources director. 
Ah yes, I know just how to solve this. There, human resources solved. Then through here we've got like a small little, not sure what this would be called, it's like a recreational area where we have a DLC cooker to cook some food. We've got a small little seat there to eat your food and we've got some lockers there. Yeah, it's not too sure what to call that. But we can look down there to see all the little seats of your workers working away. And then just come down to here, to a small little seat there. Not too sure what this seat is for, but it has a clock over the top of it. Through the passage, through another passage, we then get to another site administrator. So through here we have the lovely fancy office with the planter. Sit there and talk to your clients. And if we come around to here, we then have a private area. We have a settee, got some more lockers and all that to store your private stuff in. We even have a little LCD screen there so you can put stuff in there if you wanted to. Then across to here, we have the systems architect. Across to it, we can look down below us where it's like a greeting room or like a dinner room. I'll come to that a little bit later. Opening up the door. Another room just like the administrator, where we have a chair, we've got a planter, a settee there, and a small little locker. Moving all the way back to where we were, we've got to go back to the stairs, which is just through here. So back through here and to the stairs, we can continue going down, and we'll see yet another door, which is the arrivals and departure centre. So these were the rooms that we could see from the floor above through the glass. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's fine. A little bit laggy on this map, so I do pardon the little hiccups here and there. Through here we then have like the control center for your staff to then look at the boards and all that and to give out the announcements and whatever. You can then come around to here, got some more desks and stuff, small little room, and we can just continue going around. Then we have the medical center, so we got a small little table there, like a small waiting room, then we can turn around. Some more little desks there for you to be greeted. We've got some time blocks behind it. Some lockers going all the way through here. We've got our medical bay. And through here, another little cubby hole. And then we can uh, go on out. We do have a little bit more in here. So we have the uh, server room. So opening it up, we just have tons and tons of time blocks. And a few little lockers there for decoration. But this is what is controlling basically all the little fancy stuff going around the base. Continuing along up these stairs, we then see the mess hall. In the mess hall, we've got a little screen there. Four credits for a sandwich. Oh, that'll solve that problem. So yeah, let's leave that there. There's just some tables in there for you to eat, but those prices are extortionate. And I believe that is all for this area. So we continue on going down. And here we have the exit. So before we go any further, we can continue going around there. So if you wanted to hide under the steps, you could do. But let's now go through the exit. Close that up. And we've got like a little chair there for you to sit on. We can come through here for some lockers. We then got an airlock button, some more chairs. Continuing along, we've got our planters, we've got a desk there. We've got a security chief, or a chef, if you know what I mean. Through here, we can have like sitting there so you can see all your security problems. Like some lunatic has planted warheads on the second and third floor and armed them. Got some lockers there and we can see into the little vehicle bay there. With some lovely vehicles that we're going to drive. Around here and through this door, we then have, well, nothing. It's just an air vent. We've got some auction tanks below us and a conveyor. Moving along, then back through here and around to here. Oh god. Oh yes, the warheads. Ah. Hmm, yes. Everything's fine, I believe. Just a bit of paint scratched. Oh. Looks like we won't be driving them after all. Anyway, we got some lockers going all the way along here. We've got a fake little bed. Some cargo containers for you to store stuff in. A little assembler if you wanted to do some... repair work. I don't know why. Then we do have another chair there for us to look around on. And last but not least, we had to go outside the airlock. So, hmm, that was odd. So jumping through there and not falling down the hole, we can then come over to the airlock. Press the button, oh God, I didn't want to press the button just yet. So opening up the door and coming through the airlock, being very careful not to fall down any holes like I just did. Let's just drop down through here and then, 
solve that little problem right there, we then come to the vehicle bay. With some pretty dead vehicles. We then have a few options on here for the connectors. And then we have the cycle airlock to go back through what was a door. Going along through here, we have another cargo container which is connected to that one in there. So you don't have to step outside. And then we've got some oxygen tanks. Coming down to here, we have our land vehicles which are perfectly fine and will drive. Yes, they will totally drive. So the vehicles themselves are... Fairly detailed actually, they're more for a passenger carrier to take you over to your ship that you landed. We've got some pistons on there for you to keep yourself nice and stable. And we've got a lovely cockpit right there, which is perfectly fine. Just some light paint work being scratched. But let's go and move out here. We have a door to go outside, which we can close up with this button. I'm just going to open that up. And then we can come through here, which is kind of like a small little maze, which will take us to the... Wow, they are really powerful warheads. Yes, they'll take us to the little pads, which can be raised and lowered. So we can press this button to raise ourselves up to the platform above. And it's essentially the same all throughout this little area. Uh, would you like to keep going up, please? Nope. Okay, that one doesn't want to go up, so we're going to have to try another one. What on earth happened here? So moving along to this one over here. So this is what is inside the pad when the pistons are fully extended out. We have the large open area and no way to extend it. But we do have a way to walk out in case you did fall down here and didn't want to use your jetpack. We then have another doorway here which leads us to another pad and no way to escape without going back the way we came in. So we could get vehicles in here, we could drive them around and land them on there and take them to the surface. Got some lovely detail here, like lots of little vents there, some of the Mars dirt being falling through the blocks basically. We just keep going around and around and around. Like I said, it's basically the same all the way around through here and then back through to this door here, which we can open up with this button, which will take us to the outside, just like the other door. So let's now go back to where I was. Oh, in fact, let's go up here first. We can go up this little ramp, open up this little door, and we have a small little way which will take us to the floor above. So there was the hangar we just opened up, and now we can freely walk around these little silo things. Going back inside, and back round, we can drop down that ladder there if you want to do some repair work. But it's not with me around, you won't want to do that. We then come back round past these perfectly usable vehicles and outside. So now we're on the outside, we have done the first part of this little tour. So there is the station where we started. There is... Huh. Well that's kind of curious actually, how's that's happened? Anyway. We can then move along to the main portion of this little build, where we have a small vehicle over here, which we can take control of. But I think, I think this is one of the remote control ones, which has suddenly stopped working. Yes, we've got a few buttons on here. Let me just put the parking brakes on and check some of these buttons. So we've got the vehicle jack, which are the pistons. We then have the attach and detach mode for the co connectors which will be this thing right here. So we could take these to a... Actually, we can just take it in there. Oh, there's one of those vehicles. I'm on the ram that first. Get back here. There he is. We need to just get sneaky up to him and ram him. There we go. Oh? Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he thought he was going to turn around and try and attack me. But no, where do we start with this large base? Let's start with this one here. So we have a small facility. I say small facility. It's a large facility. Look at this thing. So we've got solar panels on the top. We've got the antenna. We've got some lovely work with half-finished blocks. Got a lot of glasswork there. A lot of interior. But we can just drop down here. And we can enter into the factory area. So we've got some vehicles here which are used to transport all the goods. So this is like the vehicle that I just crashed into something where you have the connector there to connect up your goods and all that. Then it has some buttons at the very back there which is attached with the trailer. We then have these bits over here. 
where you can load up your goods onto the vehicles, and then walk around past all these stacked cargo containers. Don't think there's anything in any of these. Nope. And I think they're actually loose, so you can just pick them up. But we can see all the stacked cargo. In fact, yeah, they, they are loose. So I could pick them up. Might try that in a minute. In fact, let's try that right now. So we have one of these little vehicles here, which are used to move around all the goods. Let's just undo the parking brake. And put the engine on. We then reverse this around very carefully. It's a bit wonky. But let's try and pick up what are these things. So that's the rear camera. We got some spotlights on the front. Whoopsie, I fell out of it. Let's see if I can just come up to one of these things and lift it up. So there we go, ready to lock. I have now grabbed that and can now pull it. There we go, that's now been lifted up. That did it automatically, I didn't press anything on that one. Now we can just move this around and place this wherever we want. In fact, if I just drive it all the way around, like so, the wheels are a little bit sensitive on this thing, it's very floaty control. But I can now just take this back round to where I was, which were these things over here. And then just like connect it up to this. Maybe if I can ram it in there, maybe I can't do it like that. I'll just load it up into one of these vehicles over here and call it that. Bring this round. I mean, I'll just fix it up like that. I can now lock that off. And it's good to go. Totally. Let's hop out of that and then let that roll away. So we've got tons of cargo containers everywhere. We even have a small little button here, which is an airlock. So we can go through here, press the airlock, automatically close the door behind you and then let you open up this one. Going around to here, we've got another button for the airlock. We've got some lockers, we've got the auction tanks. Coming through here, we then have the uh, stairwell. In fact, let's go to the toilets first, so these are the toilets. Not too much privacy in here, but we got the toilets there. Around here, we can go to the stairs, where we can just uh, drop down to here, and have like this li another little sneaky area to be in. Let's just come around to here, open up. Not open up this, we just want to climb up these stairs. You can't open up stairs. What am I saying? On level 2, what do we have here? The control room. Another little locker there. Coming around to here, we have the control room with some chairs going around. Nothing set up on the button panels. Programmable blocks here with nothing going on. There we go. And a little area through here with some lockers where we can look down at the stairwell. So let's go back through here and up these stairs once again. All the way around. We then get to level 3. And I think that's it. Yep. On level 3, we have the server room. Authorised personnel only, where we have more timer blocks, we've got some lockers, and yes, just timer blocks basically controlling everything. Then we have the archives. The archives, what do they hold? Programmable blocks with nothing on there. Then we have this small little area here, with lots of lockers to look out at what is going on. We can go around and then drop back down through the stairs, through this little emergency drop, and leave the area. Let's just pop through here, activate the airlock, open that up, and we're good to go out and around. Let's go into this building over here, so we've got a button over here to open up the hangar doors. In we go. Another little button there for the hangars, then come all the way across to here, where we have like a little construction area, all being set up. Then we round to here, we can see like the loading bay of where stuff gets loaded up and then drop down onto the back of these vehicles. Then got little connector buttons over there for you to connect yourself up. And then just going around on my jetpack. Oh god, it looks like we could even go into this building. Hmm, looking down there we can see the... what appears to be a connector. Let's open up this door, that... There we go. That's a lot easier, isn't it? But we can go through here, we've got some blockers, this little armory bit, and then we can open up to go to the stairwell, which can go down. 
to the material transfer. So through here, oh god, this thing is massive. You can just run. Oh, this is not not good. But we can run across to here. There's a lot of danger here. These put a lot of fences. We can just drop down to here. This is like a maintenance work area. I haven't actually been around here when I did my little look around first. I haven't been in this area. But we do have an LCD screen there which tells you stuff which is going on here. So there's connector, there's the bays. Hmm, cargo can't be transferred between connected vehicles and facility storage. Why are the material transfer set up offline? Right. More timer blocks there, but let's leave this area because it's getting very confusing. Up the stairs and round. Oh, what the? Hold on a minute. They got the battery room. There appears to be a lot, lot more than I was thinking in here. So we've got batteries, we've got the storage for the power and all that. Ooh, we've got 12 days of power on this base. But we can come around to here, we've got a button there. Recharge batteries on and off. And then we've got recharge batteries B. Background. And down. Through here. Let's go into stairwells A. And, oh, that was where it just was. But I think I can keep going down to then the power generator. In the power generator, we've got the hydrogen engines. And nothing else through here, but we can take a sneaky look up there to see nothing. Through here, we need to... Can we go down no more? Nope. We need to go all the way around and up again. That's the exit. There is the airlock maintenance. Okay. That's that's fair enough for that room. All the way up and round again. We get to the security center. Where we once again have a small room with a chair. Some buttons. We've got some LCD screens there. A lovely light over there. And yes, another little seat. But we can continue going up and around to the office, mess hall, and section B. But it looks like... Nope, that is it, actually. But we can open up this door. we got... Not too sure what those things are, but we can drop down there. And into this little area here. Is this a maze? Have I been tricked and put into, a, like, a mouse trap? I could just keep running along here. These are probably the maintenance-like tunnels. We can take a little look around there. Running all the way back round to here, we can then find a way to get out of this. There's the ladder up there. And we can enter the office, mess halls, and section B. So that is mess halls and section B, and these are the offices. Back round here. Just a standard office where we can view across to there. That is glass there. I don't know why it's so clear all of a sudden. But we'll walk across the vent to see even more offices. Just looking out over this little conveyor area. Going all the way back to here to Mess Hall section and the section B. And then come to this bit to so exit to a section B manufacturing. Mess Hall and toilet. So there's the kitchen, there's the cook. Oh, so expensive these things. Yes, there's a small little locker there. Oop, door closed on me. Then come back around to here, where we then have some toilets. Around to here, we can go down to the... Oh, that's not very safe. To the eating area. Up and around, we then go to the section B, which is the, I think they said manufacturing. So all the way around. And through here, manufacturer. We can just keep walking around to control room B2. So we've got lots and lots of sign going around there where it's like ready to build stuff over there. Oh, that's fancy. And then we've got some more screens up there. We've got some LCD buttons. So I want that. Oh, I see. So these are... Projectors for all the vehicles. Oh, I want one of them. And what is this one? A scarab. Oh, that's rather nice. Then we can start producing it. And I presume it's just go to 
just build it from the bottom all the way up. Oh wow, <laughs> that builds kind of fast. Just a little bit fast. Wow, okay. And then just pushes it along. Ha! Huh. Oh, would you look at that? That's pretty damn neat. And then it's ready to go again. And now we can go all the way around through here to the stairwell C entrance where the AI core and data center is being held. Round to here. And go up some more stairs. There's always stairs in this. God, you're gonna have muscle, leg muscles like the size of a horse. So here's the AI core. Oh, we have a lot going on. That's is where we manufactured something. We come around to here to button panels, which aren't doing anything. There's some remote controls. Yes, that's a rather fancy thing to do. Then we need to go all the way up to here. All the way around to the data center. What is in the data center? A ton of timer blocks. We've got some programmable blocks, a lot of... Oh, okay. So a clang has been detected and physics systems has been shut down to prevent damage to the facility. If this is your first time seeing this stop error screen, restart your computer, this screen will... Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. We've got programmable blocks with nothing on them. Okay. And we, then we can move around. You know, that is really deadly. Just, if you just look at it like this, you can't really tell that there's no glass in that bridge. You could be trapped in here forever. But we can keep walking around through here. Lots and lots of timer blocks. Go around again. And through this door to even more timer blocks. Lovely jovely. Moving back round, I think we've got to go out of the station now. But I want to get to that vehicle that was just made. I suppose we go down. So that is the AI core. All the way down again. And then... Bloop, just, just break my way out. So here's the vehicle that I just produced. So we need to press this button here. Which is the vehicle release. Which turns off the landing gear. And now we can hop on up into here and hopefully drive it out. There we go. And I believe that is everything in this building. God, that was a lot going on in that building. Yes, we got the brakes there, we've got batteries on this thing, we've got air vents. Oh, it's like a little people carrier. So we've looked at the station behind this other vehicle bay over here. And now, I suppose, we need to go and look at... Wait a minute. Are there two towers? Ay ay ay. Yes, now we can go and visit this place over here. So we've got another vehicle there. Don't mind me, I just want to park my vehicle right there. Thank you. So I can hop out and take a look at this. This building. So this looks like a habitat for you to live in, where we can open up the door, cycle the airlock, Yes, just cycle it like that. We've got some armories. Well, even more armories. A battery there to power. We've got a little chair there with a little programmable block. Going back through here, through the passages. And then come to even more areas. So we've got timer blocks there on your little DLC beds. Just lay there. Tables, planters, little screen there. So you watch TV if you wanted to watch the ever famous offline channel. Back through here, we then have some more little areas. There's your little cooking area. Just sit out there and view it. And then the toilet. So now we've got to get out of this small building and visit the next one. So the little silos there, I don't think there's anything too much going on there. Nope, they're just there to be pretty. Let me now just get back into my vehicle, undo the parking brake, and reverse this away. So where do we go next? Oh look, it even tells me what's going on so I don't have to have the HUD there. That's really nice. So there is that big... I think we've done the two big buildings. Yeah, we've definitely done the two big buildings, but there's even more. 
even more. So we've got some more habitats going around. I won't visit all these because they are essentially the same. Just like a little bit different, but yes, I don't really need to show them off. Just go around here. Even more buildings. And we're going to go over to this big glass structure over here. Oof, look at that ramp. We can go over to this bit. That's fine. It's just the paintwork. I'm just going to get myself up to here. There we go. Perfectly parked. But yes, in this area here, we've got two small vehicle bays with one vehicle already in it. Before I come across through here and then just a crouch as I go through. We have a button for the airlocks. So if you wanted to go through here, you would have to then cycle the airlocks. But I'm not going to do that. So we can cycle them up. Got a door there in case you wanted to come in here without a vehicle. We then come through here, we've got some unfinished tanks, through this door, and then through this way we go to the biodomes 1 and 2. Through here we've got some grass, which is done via the voxel hands by putting in the earth-like plant stuff. We've even got a little tank there which is spinning with ladders on it, which looks great. Then we can continue going round all through here to the other dome. What is in this one? Exactly the same. Some more grass there, another little spinning ladder. But now we can come through here to a little locker. We can even come up this ladder. And up the ladder. We can then look around. Just walk around here. In fact, let's... Oh, I failed that one. I want to try that. So if I come up to here. Yep. There we go. So we've got some lights on here. We can just sit on here spinning around. Isn't that great? Let's just hop off there, run all the way back through here, and take a little mosey around this building. So we've got some stairs going up. If I was to open up this door here, we can go to the hydrophonics. So that's another little airlock thing, where we can then change their rotation. Pretty cool. Back around and through here, we've got another armory, some toilets. Round through here, we then got like a little living bay area where we can just sit there on the couch and watch some plonker drive your vehicle, drive a vehicle into your vehicle. Back round through here, we go through the doors to the greenhouse storage. Okay. Then we can go around through here for even more stuff. Oh, look at this. We got some alien stuff. Pretty cool. This one doesn't spin, it just goes on a piston backwards and forwards. You can then come around through here. I think we've been through this area here, yep. I need to then find the admin's office. So there's the admin's office. Opening up this door and that's the alien grass, I believe. Yep, that I can definitely tell that by looking at them. And then we can come out of this area. And go on to the next, next area. I think there was another stairs going up, but we do have like a little, little kitchen area. Let's just break my way out of here. And hop down. So now we can go to the stairwell, which is currently under construction. So there's nothing going on in this room. What we see there is going to go down, but it has been sealed off. So you cannot get down there and hurt yourself. Around through this door. We can come back outside and just float around a bit to see some more habitats. Let's just peer in there. Yep, so they're essentially set up the same as that first one I showed off. But now we then have to look at... I'm a little bit confused. I believe it's this building over here. So in this building, we've got another little area for you to store a vehicle. Opening up this door and coming through the airlock. We can then come up here to the control room. And the restroom. In the restroom, we've got some DLC chairs and we've got the toilets around to here. It's glass. I was actually going to try and walk through that one. Control room is through here, so we've got the control room right here. Any buttons? Yep, so we can turn the refineries on and off as much as you want. Coming back around through to here and opening up the door, we can get to the refinery access. Around here, we then got the buttons, which are exactly the same as the chair above us. So these are all the refineries. 
And then we can come round up as through here to the exit. So through the exit we can then, where do we go next? Done that bit, done that bit. Oh, I believe we could be, we could be done actually. So we've got the small vehicle which is still trying to ride around. We have the little ice cream sitting over there in a the distance which is in fact a moon. But I do believe we've looked at basically everything. Let's do, let's take a quick look at these silos over here. So you can just go up to the top there, but I doubt there's anything inside it. Oh, there is something inside it. So, oh my! But they... But, but, but they're warheads inside! Why would you put warheads? Oh! Wow, okay. There are a lot of surprises on here. Let me just try and... You, you literally can't. You cannot remove two blocks without it blowing up. That's actually impressive. Now I'm going to go to these ones and see if these have anything in them. Ooh. It's almost like... It's almost like the oxygen sets them off. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's blow up this one. So just removing that block. <laughs> and it blows up. Oh dear, let's blow up that one. Blow up that one. Oh, that one didn't go. There we go. At this point, the video is finished. I am just blowing up these little silo things here because I can. But I do want to see what is inside. I'm silly, I could just do this, couldn't I? Oh, the free camera is a bit far away. Haha! -ha. I see what you've done in here. You put a small line of small warheads. And you blow them up. Let's now check under there. There is nothing under that. And yes, that is it for the Port Argos R&D site. It's a absolutely huge site for you to explore and play around with. And I especially like the automated vehicles that go all the way around. And all the hidden warheads everywhere. So as per usual, I'll leave the link in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. Remember, this is a world and not a blueprint. So you will need to start a new game. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.